so today I'll be doing an unboxing video for Cosmonee.com. If you haven't heard of Cosmonee.com, up to date I've done quite a number of videos for them and if I'm not mistaken, my previous video for Cosmonee.com is also an unboxing video so if you haven't watched that yet, I'll put the link in the description box. I know a lot of YouTubers have been using the cards thing um, but I haven't actually go about to figure out how to use that so I'll just drop the link in the description box. So Cosmoe.com is basically a website and they offer a lot of high-end beauty products such as makeup, skincare, hair care, body care, uh, fragrances and even gift sets so um, their prices are really competitive and from what I've seen I did a little comparison between the prices from Cosmoe.com and other websites and they are definitely cheaper. So now that we got the intro out of the way, let's get along with the unboxing. So this is the box that I received about 4 days ago and I've been itching to open the items up and swatch them, and look at them and touch them. But as you can tell, each and every single piece of item is being wrapped in a bubble wrap so I haven't actually open any of the bubble wrap yet. So that is what I'm going to do in this video. So let's begin unwrapping our very first item. So the first product I see is this one. And this is a facial cleanser. So one of the features I really like about their website is that you can actually filter things according to your skin type. So for example, I was looking for a facial cleanser so I clicked on the facial cleanser tab and so they filter all the facial cleansers out and then from there I further filter the products out into facial cleansers that are suitable for people with oily skin which is my skin and you can also do the same for dry skin and combination skin and I think that's really helpful because it was a very quick way to shop I think. Okay so this cleanser is the Kiehl's Red Earth Deep Pore Daily Cleanser um, with Amazonian White Clay. It helps to exfoliate and detoxify. So this sounds exactly like the thing that oily skin people need. So I decided to pick this up. I've never tried anything from Kiehl's before so um, I figured out this will be my first product from them. So yeah, this is just a facial cleanser. There is no swatches to this product so I'm just going to give it a little sniff. It smells quite earthy, I guess. And it smells like clay. Like the clay that you used to like use during art. Yeah, it does. <laughs> so that was the very first product. The next one is something very exciting. This is the Urban Decay Naked Ultimate Basic Palette. I am so excited. I haven't got myself an Urban Decay palette in super long and initially I wanted to get the Urban Decay Naked Heat Palette but I went in stores to swatch it out and stuff and I just feel like I won't be using the colors very often. So when I saw this palette on Cosmini.com, I feel like this one I will use a lot more. So let's see what it looks like. I mean this is an old palette so you might have seen it already somewhere in stores or whatsoever but I've never really paid attention to this palette so this is definitely one of my first time actually holding it and feeling it and it looks really nice. So let's open it up. Wow, so this one has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 12 shades in it and they're all matte colors and they're supposed to be very basic shades. So looking at it right now, I feel like I would definitely use these shades a lot and probably these. I'm not really a purple eyeshadow person so I'm not really sure about these and I'm not a blue eyeshadow person either so I'm not sure about this. I really like how it comes with a little brush as well because I always use like the Naked Palette brushes so it's good to have another one. Um, but so far I really like the packaging of this product. I was expecting it to be quite big and bulky but it's actually very slim so it's still very travel friendly and it comes with this super huge mirror so you can just do your makeup using this mirror you can adjust the angle as well moving on to the next item we've got this item over here and this is from NARS I haven't tried anything from NARS as well and I really wanted to try their 
sheer glow foundation but um, my shade was out of stock so I can only try something else so this is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer that is pretty popular I've heard a lot of people talking about it I was considering between this one and the Bare Minerals Stroke of Light Concealer and I decided to go for this one instead okay so this is the concealer I got it in the shade medium to ginger and I've actually ordered this and then I went to Sephora and then I tried to swatch it and I feel like the shade um, kind of matches my skin tone yeah I think the shade is really matching to my skin because you cannot see anything right now after I've blended it out um, I will definitely be using all the products here in a makeup look so just stay tuned for that the next item is also from NARS and I already know what this is this is a blusher. Uh, like I said, I, I've never tried anything from NARS but I've heard so many great things about all of their products. And I have just decided to go for their most popular blush shade which is Orgasm. I feel like this blush reminds me of a peach tone because it's pink but it also has like gold flakes in it. It is not very pigmented as well which I think is great for blusher because it is easy to put on way too much blush when your blush is super pigmented. So I think for blush it's great when the product is not that pigmented because it just looks more natural on your skin instead. So this is our next product and this one is a mascara from Urban Decay. Um, I was looking for a mascara on their website and I just wanted to try this one out. So this is the Urban Decay Perversion Mascara and it says here, bigger, blacker and better. As usual, I've heard a lot of good things about this mascara so just thought why not give it a try. I am running out of mascara so this is perfect. And I really like the packaging, it's like a metallic <laughs> reflective packaging. Uh, I mean, you can see in the shot yourself, but uh, yeah, it just looks like that regular mascara. Super excited to try it. Um, mascara. So, our next product is quite big, it is um, this one right over here. So, let me just open it up. This one is bubble wrapped in two layers. This is what it is. This is the SK2 Facial Treatment Essence and if you watched my previous unboxing video for Cosme.com, you'll notice that I also got the SK2 Facial Treatment Essence then but at that point of time, I got the 75ml one and I actually really like it so I decided to give myself an upgrade and get the 230 milliliters one so this is I think this is the regular size I have no idea but it looks like this I'm pretty sure you have seen the packaging of the SK2 facial treatment essence but um, yeah I really like this product I feel like the difference between using this product and not using this product is not drastic or life-changing or anything but um, one thing that I noticed the first time I use it is how clear my skin looks. Um, it just looks smoother and clearer because I have oily skin so enlarged pores is um, a skin problem that I've been facing and I feel like the thing that helped to clear that problem up is the SK2 Facial Treatment Essence. So I think in my previous unboxing video, I said that the SK2 Facial Treatment Essence stings. So I'm just gonna give it a little sniff. Okay, yeah, it smells bad. <laughs> it smells bad. And it's true, it does things and um, I sort of get used to it, but it's just a fact that it stings, but it's not something that stings so much that I will actually stop using it because it's so watery. Um, once you apply it onto your skin, you don't really smell it anymore because uh, it just gets absorbed in so quickly. Uh, and then you put on other skincare products and you know the smell just goes away so it's not really a reason for me to stop using this product so yes I got a bigger size facial treatment essence and I love it <laughs> okay since we talked about the biggest product I have in this box uh, let's now talk about 
the smallest product which is a lipstick from MAC and MAC lipsticks are just so popular I feel like everyone has oops, everyone has at least one MAC lipstick but I don't uh, so this is my very first MAC lipstick so this is the MAC matte lipstick in the shade chili and I got it because I think the shade is perfect for fall um, we don't have fall here but I just like to do my makeup according to the season it just feels so surreal holding a MAC lipstick because I've never held one before and I've always just seen it on YouTube videos and now I'm, I'm holding a MAC lipstick so this is the shade of chili um, it's like an orangey red shade I feel like this lipstick shade will match like whatever I'm wearing right now but um, even though this is a matte lipstick I feel like the texture is very smooth and glides on very smoothly I've tried out other matte lipsticks and they are just way too dry I want to say the 3CE matte lipsticks are really not the best in the market but this one glides on very smoothly so I think that is a good sign okay we still have four more products to go so the next product is this one this is from okay so this one is from Bare Minerals and this is the original foundation broad spectrum in the shade medium Bitch. Um, so I got this because I've heard good reviews about this product and originally I wanted to find a loose powder, like a setting powder but I thought why not get a product that I can double up and use it as a foundation so I decided to try this one out. Yeah, this is in the shade Medium Bitch which looks quite orangey but I think it will be fine on my skin because it looks quite similar to the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer that I showed you guys earlier on just now. The thing is, this one doesn't come with a buffing brush and I feel like if you want to use this product as a foundation, you need a buffing brush to buff in the powder onto your skin. Um, so yeah, I need to find a buffing brush to use along with this product. The next product is this one and this product is from Estee Lauder and in my very very first video for Cosmony.com if I'm not wrong, I received the Estee Lauder Stay In Place Double Wear foundation I think um, and that foundation I really like, that is my favourite liquid foundation since then and until right now I'm still using it I wanted to get a foundation so I thought I'd give Estee Lauder another go and get the double wear light stay in place makeup so I think this one is quite similar but it's a lighter formula I'm not too sure um, super excited I got it in the shade intensity 3.0 so the Estee Lauder stay in place double wear foundation comes in a glass bottle uh, without a pump and this one comes in this um, tube, I think. Tube. Mm, it looks quite small actually for a foundation, like it's so thin and small. So I'm not sure how that's gonna work out, but um, I actually did a search on what are the best high-end foundations and this one made it to the list, so I decided to try this out. Mm, so I think this is a very matching shade to my skin tone because I blended it out and it just disappears into the back of my hand and the formula is very light definitely compared to the stay in place double wear makeup so I'm really excited to try this one out because that foundation is definitely quite thick if you want to use it for everyday so for everyday use I think this one will be a lot better the next product is a skincare product and it is from Origins just open. so I've been wanting to try out products from Origins so I decided to pick this one up this is a moisturizer and I know I have a lot of skincare products but I really want to try a products from Origins and this is one of their new range I believe this is the Jin Zing I've seen a lot of advertisement about this product and I really like the orange packaging of it so I decided to try it out I did actually swatch it Oh my god, it smells so good. It smells citrusy and like orangey, which is very fresh. I think I just got it on my lip. So yeah, I actually did swatch this in stores before I placed my order because if I don't like the texture of a moisturizer, I will not use it. Um, so this one is actually really nice because it's a gel moisturizer, so it's not very oily and creamy. It's very smooth and it just 
gets absorbed in very quickly which is good for people with oily skin like me and oh my god I love how it smells like it literally smells like orange juice in a moisturizer so now we are down to our very last product this one is from Urban Decay and I am also super excited about this one this is the Urban Decay Naked Flush Palette and this is in the shade Strip I believe this palette comes in three different shades but Strip was the only one left in stock so I decided to pick it up so once again this is not a new product from Urban Decay so I'm pretty sure you guys have seen this palette before so let's take a look at the shades it looks so pretty I am not too sure about the bronzer shade because it's a little bit orangey and I prefer like a cool tone bronzer but I think like instead of using it for contouring this is good for like a sun kiss glow I obviously have not tried this out yet but I really like the blush shade because it looks very natural and subtle and it has like the it has like a rosy tone to it which I think is very nice so those are all the products that I got from cosmedy.com if you are interested in any of the items I'll leave the link to all of the items in the description box below and uh, if you're looking for any high-end beauty products make sure to check out cosmedy.com as well um, and with that said we've come to the end of this video I hope you guys enjoy watching and I'll see you very soon in my next one Bye.